go ahead and delete this item and move on to the next slide, which you will see is just text on a black background. The only thing here is we are creating an effect of zooming in. Let me drop the sound on this. Check out the preview. Okay, so that conditioning is basically a effect of appearing or zooming in. So if we look at that, it's zoom in. And then later, it's going to also grow and shrink under emphasis. And how I'm adding these items, this is the probably the only important thing because you've already learned how to do all of these items. And I will have a link in the description to the template. But what you're aiming for on this slide for the effects is adding multiple effect options, okay? Or sorry, adding animations here. You're adding multiple animations. So for example, when I click on conditioning, I can say that I want it to zoom in and then, so you already see the multiple there. If I didn't have the multiple selected, it would just be zoom. But then what I need to do is go to add animation. So let's actually just look at that on a new slide here. And let's just go to insert. And I probably used word art because it makes just a lot easier, you know, text. And we're going to write conditioning, okay? And then what I want to do is I want to go to animations. And I know that I want it to zoom in. Okay, we know we want it to zoom in, but we don't want it to just stop. We want it to then, once it zooms in, to start growing. Okay, so the duration here is 0 0.50. That was the default. And I definitely want to make sure that it's with previous. And then I want no delay, but then I'm going to add another trigger here. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to add animation. And I'm going to choose something like grow and shrink, which makes sense. So it keeps going out. Okay, and you can see now I've got the two options, but I don't want it to be growing right away. What I need to do is delay it by about the amount of time that the first one is. So I have a little bit of a delay and of course I can sort of drag it and so forth. And I want the duration to be roughly say two seconds. I can then add another item. So I'm gonna make sure that that's with previous. So it'll start delay at 0.50. And then what I wanna do maybe is even have it sort of like just keep going off the screen. I can add another animation and this time we can do exit. And let's go ahead and do zoom. That's not gonna look right and so see I didn't add this one and the last one so let's see if we can find one that might work well zoom might work let's see what the effect option is we want it to say no I don't like that so let's go ahead and choose it to let's go ahead and remove that trigger and I'm gonna go choose that I'm gonna add animation Let's try shrink. No, see, it goes backwards. I don't want that. Don't know if I can. Let's go ahead and remove that one. So as you see, I'm kind of learning on this one here, which is good because you're, you're seeing sort of how I go through the process of deciding what I want to do. I want to start that with previous. Now I want to delay it. So that one's delayed by 0.50 and goes for two seconds. So we're looking at about 250 here. Let's make it go a little slower and let's delay it to 250. So now you have to keep in mind though, this is going to go to 350. So if my speaking does not last for 350, 3.5, it might cause a problem and it doesn't. So, or it might not have the effect that you want. In any case, let's go ahead and preview this. Zooms in, keeps going and fades away. So what I'd probably want to do is make it so it's larger than the item or just at the right size so that we can get this effect. So just keep stretching beyond the boundaries of the, the slide. So then I'm going to add some effects on each one of these. As you can see, I have some delay and I have the auto triggers. They're all gonna follow behind each other. So that is all you're going to do on that slide. It's pretty simple.